Welcome to a D45 Tech Talk. This is creating a movie trailer in iMovie. So the first thing is you want to tap on the projects up at the top and then in the top right the plus to create a new project. And then select trailer. When you do that you have these options here. These are the genres. So they have different styles. Now the background images and the, the font face that's there, you can't change any of those. That's part of that theme. If you want to preview one of the genres, you press the play button. Now again, the background you can't change, the font you can't change. You can change the little text that's in there. You will be adding your own pictures and video clips in those sections. You can't change the length of the clips, or the position of the clips, or the number of clips that it uses, either. Select your genre, and then tap Create in the top right corner. Now you're to the section where we can start editing this. Tap in one of the boxes, and the keyboard will show up. Delete what's in the box, and type in your text. When there are two boxes, that means there are two lines of text. Some genres, like this one, have a place for the cast and also their gender. So select the gender for each character, type in their name. Then you can change the studio name here. The drop down underneath is for the logo style. Select that. For the credits, I have the students put their first names only. And if it's a book for the written by, I, they can put the author's first and last name. Now tap on the storyboard, and this is where we can start editing the text and the different shots. I've gone through each of the genres, and I've created these scripts that students can use. I have students writing down events that happen through the story, important things, so they have a list. Then at the end, they can use that list now to figure out what's going to go in for these different text sections and what shots are they going to use to then retell the story. And these outlines are created with the exact same format that it is here in your iMovie outline for that genre. The lines that say text will be the parts of the trailer where the text appears on the screen. I put a suggested number of characters for each line so it's not too long. And a character would be a letter, a space, a symbol. Where it says text 2A, text 2B, whenever there's an A, a B, that means there are two lines of text on that screen. Then where it says shot one, 2.6 seconds, that's how long that shot can be. That can't be changed. And the location of the shot can't be changed. Shot two is 2.7 seconds. Then there's another text section, 3A and 3B. Now the outline in iMovie doesn't have the shot 1, shot 2, text 3A, 3B. You have to count. So line 1 was already entered. That's the studio name. That was already entered in the outline tab. Now this would be text 2A and 2B. And you change the text the same as you change any other. You tap in the box, delete the text, add your new text. Now we see the spaces for shots one and two. They say Amelia here, and number three says a two shot, but they don't have to be. The only thing they have to be is the length that it says. So if you tap shot one, now you can either select a picture, you can select video that's already on the iPad, or you can use the camera to capture video or picture. These tabs are at the bottom of the screen. It's on photos now, so I can select a photo, tap on it, and it will fill shot one. I can tap on shot two now, select a picture, and there it goes. If I don't already have the pictures, 
or video, I can use the camera by tapping the camera button, then selecting video or still in the top left of that black box. When you tap the red button to start recording, it counts down and then it records, but it continues recording. It's actually recording that whole time of that gray bar. The part in the box is the time of that shot, but you can select any of the video within that gray bar. Tap the shot again and it brings up the window for you to edit which part of the video will be shown. The whole length is what was in the gray bar. You can see the box. Just drag the box to find the part that you want to use and tap done. To add video that's already on the iPad, tap one of the shots, select video at the bottom, and it will show the library of all the video on the iPad. Tap one of the videos, and then the section within that little box is the length of that shot. Tap the play button to play the section of video, and the backwards button to put that section of video into your project. To take a still photo, tap camera at the bottom, then select the camera icon instead of the video camera icon up in the left there of the box, and tap the white button to take the photo. It puts it into whichever box that you tap. To add a still photo that's already on the iPad, tap photos at the bottom, and then select the photo that you want by tapping on it. Still photos have a Ken Burns effect applied to them. That means it's going to pan and zoom on the picture. The default effect may or may not be what you want. Select the picture from the storyboard by tapping on it. Then you can tap the start and notice that it says to pinch and zoom using two fingers. You can zoom in on the part of the picture where you want to start. Then tap end and use your two fingers to pinch and zoom and put the picture how you want it to end. And when you're satisfied, tap Done at the bottom. To change a picture, tap it in the storyboard, and then tap the garbage can. You have a few options with the video clips. If you tap a video clip, at the bottom next to the garbage can, notice there's a turtle. Tapping the turtle will make that video clip play at half speed. Tap the turtle again to turn it off. So in these text sections, you remember that I put, like, 25 characters. It's not that that's all that you can put. It's just that if you put complete sentences and then view it, it won't be on the screen long enough to actually be able to read it. So to preview the text that I just typed, I would tap the shot just before it and then tap the play button in the middle and it starts playing it. And notice that it's hard to read those two long sentences before it changes. So instead of long sentences, treat those two boxes as maybe one sentence and split it up. See how this is a lot easier to read when you play it. Tap the arrow at the top middle to go back to the gallery. And now once you're finished, here you're going to share the box with the arrow coming out. But if you're logged into YouTube or Vimeo, they can be uploaded to one of those. I usually select Save Video, which will put it into the camera roll. Then I can download it to the computer eventually. I select usually either HD, the 720, or the 1080p. This will be a good size if I want to show it on my smart board from the computer or upload them later somewhere. Depending on the length of the video, it will take a while to export the movie, then it will copy to the photo library, and then it's done. It's there to be downloaded to the computer eventually. And those are the basics of making an iMovie trailer.